Yeah, that pace car is quite something, Johnny. And you had the man in the box earlier who's been uh, who's driving it now. It is, Marco. Now, what's going on? That, that's not right. That's a smoke screen. This is wacky races. They've got the smoke screen out. Look at it. Look Save at it. it for later. Devious You'll need British it. Tactics. Yeah, this good <laughs> devious British tactics. No, he's pulling off and he's about to smoke the whole pit lane up. But we've got him. Line astern. Mustangs, minis. Here we go. The lights are blazing. Now, that's an advantage also to the minis. Maybe that's the plan tonight. Let the sun go down and blaze them out of the, the, the place. Yeah, this is one of the great things. Pulls up. Oh. And we're about to go racing. That 1-1-1 one, one, one on the right-hand side is the lead Mustang. And then it's Don Racine and Dennis Racine, the winners of yesterday's race in the 177. This, the Group 10 feature race, the last hurrah as away go the muscle cars. And straight away, it's a 1-2 for the Mustangs. But hold on, folks. Yes, they'll struggle up the hill with the minis, but it ain't over yet, boys. Into turn two they go, cresting the hill. It's a bit of a blind hill now. With the sun going down, it's going to be a little bit harder. But now, watch the minis come into their own as we turn this right-hander and start to go downhill towards the carousel. This is a great scene, Johnny. You've been up here on comms all weekend long, but the aerial shots that we're getting at this racetrack are just second to none. This is just... Well, it's a great way to finish the weekend, isn't it? I know, and I've become a bore about drones because I've drone on about drones, <laughs> like you could say. Uh, but no, I, I, I just love the way you can really see a racetrack so much better uh, from above and really get a perspective of, of the racing. As we go into the and out of the carousel, you can see the lead group of, what, five cars starting to pull away. The Mustangs are using that power, but it ain't over. Don't count them out. Here comes... I think it's... Well, first and foremost, uh, we've got Ethan Wilson and Mike... Balacchio in the 1-1-1, that's the lead Ford Mustang. Then Don Racine, uh, and we're mentioning two because we are doing a compulsory pit stop, so that's why each of the cars has two drivers, and that can be a strategy play. You heard one of the drivers say, yeah, we're waiting for a yellow flag, then we'll take our uh, pit stop. And that's what happened yesterday. This car was due to win the number 80, but uh, he just kind of chose the wrong time to take the pit stop and got literally uh, a lap down. The interesting thing about this one, Johnny, is I, did, I wasn't with you last night when we, we were on last night's race, but I was with you last year. Yeah, and that's the, right. The, the 111, the 1966 Ford Mustang of Mike Bacchiocho. Uh Forgive me, Mike, if we're getting your name wrong, but he was our winner last yes, year. Yes, he was, yeah. He, he yep. won this last year. So I reckon he's come back looking to do exactly the same again. But as car number 80 uh, in the golf livery there of Seth Berger, has he got other ideas this year? Could be, could be. And Adam, we've been talking all weekend about how the Americans took what we sent over after World War II, pretty much, uh, and sort of carved up and did their own thing with, throw th threw a Chevy in there, got some big ball going. Uh, but you can't do that with the Mini, really, can you? You, you really can't. You do well to fit a big V8 in that. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I'll say one thing about the Mini that I never had any thought for. My brother-in-law is 6'2", got straight in the Mini, no problem. Did he? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, what? they're spacious. They're spacious. They are. And what is remarkable, you can't fit, you know, huge engine blocks in these things. But when you walk along that row and you take a look with Don and Dennis Racine and they've got the bonnets up and you have a look at what they have squeezed in there, it's remarkable. Mm. It's remarkable. I know you've been watching the minis like I have for the last few years. And, yeah. and we go back to talking about what Don and uh, Dennis have achieved. I mean, it's a huge following of minis in this country. Yeah, it's a huge following. It really is. Um, as we are live then with the pictures we have two Mustangs leading the way. Uh, lights ablaze then in number 80 on the golf livery of this one then just rounding the corner. That's our man Seth, I think, driving this one. But ahead of him, though, down the road, the number 111. So, Johnny, you were watching this race yesterday and calling it. Uh, you know, how was it playing out? The Minis are way more nimble than the Mustangs. The Mustangs have got the out-and-out -out power on the straightaways. But did we end up with a fairly close match come the finish? Well, we did because, uh, like I said, we had a bit of a delay and a yellow flag. That helped the Minis a little bit. Uh, they also ganged up on the Mustangs by going three wide <laughs> and making sure that they couldn't get past. So you can see there's a little bit of, uh, of gamesmanship going on here. Let's work together, boys. Uh, and let's because uh, the pride is broken now. The Americans are all over the place. They haven't slept <laughs> because they've been very upset by being trounced by the European <laughs> minis uh, yesterday. And it was a good victory, I have to say. They took it in style. Uh, but uh, the 80 is now kind of being the hair. That we've got a truck on track and uh, right by our commentary position, by the looks of things, or just out of turn. Oh no, he's not. He's not on track. Hey, uh, no, he is. Yeah, he does appear to be the white truck there with the orange lights on. 
Okay. Well, I don't see any stationary cars. Yeah, that's a weird one. We'll see. We'll see if it uh, changes the pattern here. Fastest lap, though. Ah, there's a ah, parked car. Go. It's the double zero. And let's have a look at who that would be. That is the double zero of Thomas Parmentier, the Belgian. Oh, you spoke to him, I think. Yeah, yeah, we did. We spoke to Thomas yesterday. He's not only running the Mini, but he's also running uh, a rather nice-looking Porsche, Porsche yeah. isn't he? With yeah. The, uh, with the, is it Cafe Patron? I tequila think it is, yeah, logo. the tequila brand thing. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Black, black car. Yeah. Again, fantastic shot coming into the carousel this time from a different angle, obviously, from uh, the drone pilot. Lorenzo, our drone pilot for the day, flew in straight from Italy, uh, one of the best in the world. He does the Red Bull Air Races. Uh, you name it, it's great to have him on board. Yeah. Great expense. Yeah, excellent work from Lorenzo today. Uh, jetting off uh, later this evening. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be in Vegas. Uh, he'll be, yes, oh, oh, back to Italy, but then coming back to Vegas, <laughs> right. of course, for, for the Formula One. Of course. Now, lights blazing. Surely the minis can, can play sort of COVID here. They can, they can use the darkness. I love the LEDs on the outside. Why do you have the LEDs just on the right-hand side? I don't get that yet. I, I haven't worked that out. I saw that last night. I saw some Come on, Adam. It's you're you're our expert. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. It's a good one, isn't it? Though? They've <laughs> it all got. They, so they've got LEDs. It's the pit. Well, is it though? I, now, I was, it, now I'm just being told by my learning director it's the pit wall side. But is it? Well, you would think it is the pit but it's wall not. side. That would make sense. Because the left hand side is the pit wall side in this race. Yeah. So Maxi, I I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> He stands corrected and he is standing. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting, I'm getting word in my ear, you see. I get, I get advice. You, you think I'm coming up with these nuggets? No, I'm being told what to say. Seth Burgett and Seth Burgett are he, leading the way. The, the twins, actually, no, he's on his own. Is he on his own? He's yeah. doing the full stint. Yeah, he does the full stint. So he still but, has to do but a pit stop, but he doesn't have to do a driver change. He doesn't get out of the car, so he has a little bit of a rest. Yeah. Um, but that's why the 80 almost won, because I think uh, he gets dialed in and gets uh, riled up because uh, he just sat there for a long time and he's just done the fastest lap at 150.9 so he's taking it to him he's uh, well ahead uh, when you consider that what Andrew Waite in fifth place is running 205 so you know he's well up there and taking it to him in that Shelby GT500 now I would never say oh hey I've got a Shelby GT500 I'm <laughs> sure I want to take you on in your mini now <laughs> if we were going around the hedges of Banbury yes now nah, then we'd have a better chance. Well, what's worth remembering is it's 50, 60 years since these cars first raced. And in that time, you know, they've worked out how to make minis more powerful. Yeah. They've also worked out how to make the Mustangs handle better. Yeah, yeah very good point. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, and, and like I said, that there is a serious uh, epitaph, if you will, to this, which is, you know, the Americans all, ha and every American that I know will always say, well, what do you get to the, you know, what do you get to the ground? What's it, what's it do in the quarter mile? What's it do? And it's all about power. That's, that's how they're wired. That's what it's all about. Muscle cars is the key, and it doesn't matter what we're talking about. Um, and so, therefore, it didn't matter what it did in a, because obviously, you know, uh, ah, that's the car that's being uh, towed away. Uh, but, you know, uh, drag strips, as we have here at um, Sears Point, uh, Sonoma, um, it's all about setting speed, and uh, they never worried about the corners. And then road racing comes along, and Ken Miles says, oh, well, I'll show you what to do with a, a, a small displacement car. Uh, and uh, suddenly things uh, changed a little bit. Uh, not that they uh, discouraged the uh, big muscle, but then Carroll Shelby thought, well, how can I get the best of both? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's kind of where... A lot of this all development so there was a serious side to it because the smaller displacement cars were great and nimble uh, around the road courses uh, especially places like Watkins Glen and Road America and here at uh, Sonoma uh, Laguna so there's a lot of action going on off track at the moment there is and uh, and I just want to name check a good pal of mine Randy Unsby uh, yep. who, uh, from the mini uh, fraternity who's been emailing me some great information about cars 61 62 and 63 which used to race together or he used to race together as part of the pure racing team back in the day he was very successful with those cars and last year we just had the 61 and the 62 car here um, and he said to me Kev next year I'm going to speak to Don Racine and we're going to get the 63 car or a 
replica of the 63 car up and running for Velocity 2023. Um, and that's what they've done. So all three cars have been out this weekend, but if you look at our top 10, I'm not seeing car number 63. So I hope it's made it through the weekend. I did see it here running yesterday, but a uh, big shout out to Randy Unsby and thanks for uh, sending me your information on the Instagram. And thank great. you to me for losing a lot of it too. <laughs> Not at all, not at all. It's good to hear from Randy and his info. As we look at actually Don Racine there and Dennis Racine in the 177. I think it's going to be our, Don first, then Don Dennis. Don first, okay. So Don's at the helm of this one at the moment. Um, and yeah, Don's responsible for all of these minis. He's kind of... Uh, the Don. He is the Don. Yes. He is the Don. <laughs> the Doyon Don. Yeah, he's the shepherd of all of these uh, all of these guys who are in their minis this weekend. And a lot of them not only get their spares from him, but some of them he prepares the cars and loans them the cars for the weekend. As we go live to the pit lane now here, Johnny, just uh, have a look at one of the Mustangs and stuff. Are we getting set for a driver change? Or what's happening? Well, yeah, so the, it's almost like slow motion. Yeah. Well, you can come in. I, mean, I, I think they changed the rules. Remember, it used to be, it used to be the last window. window. Yeah, window. but I, I think it's now anywhere in that window because uh, you heard some of the drivers say, oh, I chose the yellow to come in. And yeah. if there isn't a yellow, then they go, oh, tactically, let's, 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 let's go early. I think the Mustang boys had got together over a beer last night and went, OK, <laughs> you're coming in after 10 minutes. And uh, meanwhile, the minis have come in. Michael Caine's come up and gone, right, you lot, get together. I want all of you to go out in a bloody group and bloody blow the bloody doors off, all of them. And that's what they're doing. That is exactly what they're doing, isn't it? Yeah, we got further into this race than I thought we would with uh, without a, a Michael Caine impression. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it has it to be is, done. It Come, on. Remarkable. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be done. <laughs> I, it, I, it, did you see the late, I, have you seen the latest uh, Italian job? I the, have, the it, was on, it was on telly in my hotel just the other night. Ah, is he? It's not as good as the other. No, it's not as good. Nah, it can't be as good, can <laughs> It is an icon of British culture, though, isn't it, the Mini, just as the Mustang is here in America? Oh, no question, yeah. So it's, it's, it's a great pairing of cars, not just because it, uh, the name Minis versus Mustangs works well. Yeah, exactly there. We, exactly right there, Adam. Two icons of uh, automotive history there on their respective sides of the pond. Uh, and aficionados all over the world still love either the Mini or the Mustang. Question to both of you. We have to add one car from one country to this group. What's it going to be? I'll go with my Alfa Giulietta. I was going to say something Italian, surely. Yeah. Maybe a Porsche 911. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, kill it. <laughs> what about a Beetle? Beetle. I'd love to see that. What about a Lancia? Come on, let's get a Lancia. Ooh, yeah, that'd okay. be good. Yeah. Okay. But no, I think the Beetle would be, you know. Actually, a Beetle would be good. It would it? work. Volkswagen Beetle, the people's car. Yeah, the people's car. And yeah. this, you know, we're, we're talking about. So, okay, what are the people's cars? Because what also, there are plenty of raced up Beetles out there, there that are. could hold there their are. own in the mix with these cars. So, what other people's cars are there? What, what's the Japanese Ooh. people's car? The Toyota Corolla. Yep, yeah. good. Yep. Toyota see? Corolla. And see, we're now getting and building yeah. a big field here. <laughs> so, who else has a people's car? France? Oh, what's well, that? That would be. Le Deux well, hang on, Le hang Deux on. Le Deux Surely. Fiat 500. Yes. Got to be the Fiat 500, 500 above, above against 500s. the Mini. Yeah. 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 That is that a, would is be a, a great race. Do. But then what, what about, about the Renault Sank, the Renault 5? The Renault 5? Good call. Yeah, Good call. Like sort of mid-80s, well. sort yeah. of late yeah, 70s, yeah, mid-80s. Yeah. We saw a lovely Renault 5 parked up yesterday. We did. Early, turbo. We? Turbo. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, my mum had a Renault 5. Good car. Good car. I like that. I'm trying to think what other countries could could play the game. Korea, I'm sure. There must be something. What have Korea got? Well, we, I'm sure there's a tiny Hyundai somewhere. Absolutely. Your, your hire car, Johnny. Uh, Actually, that's that, what, it, yeah, what is it called? <laughs> it's a, a, Hyundai, venue. a venue. A venue. Yeah. The Hyundai venue. <laughs> let's have. Yeah. Let's get the venue involved. I love it. I can see you on that starting grid, isn't that? Oh, you know it. <laughs> Team Green, mean green and lean. We'd be there. <laughs> well, this corner's seen some sights this weekend. Uh, the side of many an overtake and undertake, literally. Uh, we saw some great racing from uh, certainly the Lotus race that uh, Horatio Fitz Simon came in in the booth, and uh, I think he was. I think he's trying. I'm going to have a look if, if he made it because he's trying to get on the grid for this. Jeff O'Neill is out there again. Yep, he's still out there in the 58 in eighth place. I think he's done every race. He's done an awful lot of racing. He must be the busiest man here, that's for sure. He's having a lot of fun this week. He's weekend, not the busiest man because he he's not got his phone. And he's organised the event and he's gone, I don't care what happens. Wow. I'm just going to race my cars. <laughs> I think you're allowed to do that. 
Yeah. <laughs> if in doubt, just get in the car. There's no yeah. phones allowed. He can't hear anything. He's probably grinning from ear to ear. Oh, that was a moment. Three wheels are on my wagon for a moment. He just overcooked it going into the little chicane there. That's one of our pure racing minis then. Oliver Ramleth at the wheel of that one, I think, ah. right now, number 61. Looks great with the lights blazing. I think this is timed uh, absolutely perfectly as Don Racine comes running up the ramp here. I wonder if he's coming in to join us on comms. I hope he is. Yep. Uh, empty, empty pit lane at the moment as the leaders go through. And, uh, or, sorry, uh, third place goes through. We've already had uh, Seth Berger, who's on his own, by the way, poor lad, in his Shelby GT500. Uh, Bayakio and Ethan Wilson. Wilson hasn't changed over yet, so Wilson will be doing the second part in that Mustang. And then in the 177 that's just gone past, and I'm just getting some signals from one of the minis, uh, who was signaling quite vociferously at, <laughs> at his uh, teammate, saying, I'm coming in! Get ready! Because he didn't have his helmet on. But uh, So we're getting ready for some pit stops. So stand by your beds, folks, because we're going to get some action in a moment. And we'll keep an eye on the board. Matt Johnson still in the top 10. James Briscoe in the 73. He's in the Morris Cooper. Now, what's the difference then? Mini, Austin, Morris. So, back in all, the day, yeah. it was BMC, yep. was it? And they were all just different names for the same car, really. Yeah. Um, different badges, but largely the same. Slightly different details, like the grill or something like that. But... At the end of the day, same car, and the Coopers all got the same engines. And the Cooper was the more competitive, because that's what went rallying, didn't it? It Paddy did. Paddy Hocker had the Mini Cooper. Absolutely, absolutely. Hotted up Minis, um, built for racing. And lest, lest we forget, again, Mini, Rally, what? Yeah. And yet it did. Won the Monte Carlo Rally three times, I yep. think it was. Four, but it got disqualified for having the wrong headlights. Oh, oh, that's, oh, can you imagine doing a, a, a complete rally and then going, nope? Oh, wow, that's, that's terrible. Quite unfair. Somebody, it is. Well, fun, somebody upset somebody Funnily there, enough, the car they? in second place was a French one, so. Ah, uh, <laughs> you, uh, Zutelor, you, need, you need to say no more. Kearney and Peterson, this is the car we're looking at now, car number 12. That's an Austin Cooper S uh, from 1966, a brilliant year to be born. Uh, <laughs> the Austin Cooper a Mini S from 66 in the 424 as well. So we've got two 66s out there that we've just seen. I love the colours on that. Nice golf livery. Not quite the uh, number 21 917 parked out there. <laughs> uh, but, you know, still got a nice look to it. <laughs> and just three seconds between the leaders at the moment. Both uh, Mustangs or American muscle cars. And the first Mini still. Don Racine in third place. So it's getting uh, nip and tuck now. We've got uh, almost half an hour to go. So we're getting now down to the business end of this. We've had no yellow real flags that would cause a safety car. So it's flat out, hell-bent for leather. We were just looking at number 424 there. We'll give Gary Dreen his moment in the sun, currently running in seventh place. Seems to be linking up some nice smooth turns there as we are at a stage where there's now 32 minutes to go in this one 50 minute race in total definitely an endurance race and uh, being challenged at the front at the moment by two mustangs as one of two of our minis come into pit then we now have two minis in the pit car 35 has just gone past our window just ahead of him blue car i didn't get the number on but uh, one of the blue minis is now into pit so we're going to have the driver change moment to uh, just check everything's okay with the car probably wipe the windshield change the drivers and head on back out there as well oh great here we go car 37 then we're looking at car 37 in the pit uh, i'm trying to find that yeah on my boys it's it, it's on a ringer notes. is it on our notes is it on our notes <laughs> verstappen no, is just by, getting into by. the car it should be steve phillips in a 1966 he's not steve phillips who's he wow well, it, it, <laughs> i think it's him i think it's him good but steve phillips and car 35 then Chris Fritsch also in a, uh, in a Mini Morris Cooper. Now, this is uh, just like yesterday where out to the front goes the lone Seth Burgett on his own in the Shelby oh. GT500. What did he do? He's getting the back end out there. Oh, a little bit of sly on, slide on the rear wheels. I think he got, uh, hit the loud pedal a little early coming <laughs> out of that one. Well, that's the thing with these big Mustangs, big powerful engines sending all the power to the rear wheels. That's it. The now, opposite of the Mini, really. Oh, oh, he's done it again. He's done oh, it again. He's, he's gone off. off. The he's lead gone has off. gone off. Drama here at Sonoma as the leader of the race 
blows it and throws it in the dirt. Overcooked it, Adam, as you're explaining. All I that know. power to the rear wheels. He got his foot down early, and that's what happened. You see, I think the intimidation of the mighty Mini, that's, that's what's it. happened here. There is drama indeed here at Sonoma in the dying moments of Velocity Invitational for 2023 because the leader of the race in a Mustang representing America, not just America, but the whole American car industry, I would add, has well, gone off he while has, leading. He has gone off on the one man who is grinning from ear to ear inside is this his man. race helmet. It's car number 111, Mike Bacchiocho, our winner from last, last year. year. Yeah, last year's winner. So he is not going to get too, uh, you know, freaked out by the fact that he's lost his uh, mate. Um, but uh, it does put him in a unique position now to really give it over to Ethan Wilson. Now, it depends when he swaps over. Ethan is a good driver. He proved that last night. So if Mustang are going to save the day, this could be in the hands of this 1-1-1. One, one, one. He's got a decent gap ahead of the car behind him. It could be a time to pit, and he is pitting. Ah, now, the essential pit stop. Here we Can't go. Now, we've had a 1.8 from McLaren in Formula One. Do you think we'll ever get close to that? No, unfortunately, it's timed. I'm not sure, but what I'm going to be interested to see now, just in our camera shot, car number 80, our man Seth, there there, he goes. Seth Berger, who went off, is now going to think to himself, come on, mate, I've got, to, I've got to up my game here. I'm going to go back up through the field, get myself back on the podium. He's going to put the hammer down now with 29 minutes to go. Awesome. Mike Bacchiocho makes his way out of the pits, uh, or coming into the pits in actual fact. Here he is. Just uh, going past our window there. So, yeah, let's see what Seth can do in the closing stages of this one. And he's ready. You can see his teammate, Ethan Wilson, uh, is getting ready to go. They've dropped down already, down the board. As Burkett goes first, and Don Racine still out, yet to do the pit change uh, in second. So they're now waiting, really, to see how this all pans out. And, uh, no. Nope. In comes the 62. I thought it was for a moment Don Racine, but it's not. It's the 62 of Andrew Waite and Martin Lauber. Very gentlemanly uh, driver swap here in the 111 car, yeah, though. No rush. No, no rush. rush. Just, Ethan yeah. Wilson was taking his time there. Mike just sandwich. Feel himself out of here. His work is done for the day. Good work, Mike. Hands, knees, and helmet on. And there's that name, Randy Unsby charge of the pure racing team from back in the day 61 62 they like their orange they're, they're, they this is not to do with mclaren and ah pressure's going in a little bit of tactics going on on the hoosiers well we're getting to a point in the day johnny where the uh, the weather is dipping somewhat the sun is setting in the sky i wonder if the track temperature is cooling can you imagine the phone conversation to hoosier who makes some of the biggest tires and <laughs> yeah. muscle car <laughs> magic and they go I i'd like a, like a 10 inch uh <laughs> mini wheel please Right, number 80, here he is, Seth, who went off, back with the bit between his teeth. What can he do in the closing stages of this one? How far back up the field could he put himself? We'll have gone through the timing screens now, I would think, a couple of times. So where 17, is he? 17, well, Don, Don Racine is 17 seconds behind, which is healthy, given the pit stops, etc. Yeah. Uh, we had a gap of what, uh, yesterday, Don Racine was 30 seconds behind. Now, but Seth is putting down the hammer, 159.9. He's just on the fastest lap of the race with some free air. Uh, he's seen his mate go off. He's now getting into traffic, and now the elbows are going to come out in the minis. They're going to group together uh, and form a line across, <laughs> across the track. Well, it looked that way yesterday yeah. at some times because there was traffic there was, really impeding them. Yeah, and there was moments I glanced up at the big screen seeing the TV pictures of this race yesterday where there were kind of like two, three, four cars of rest nipping into a corner. There was a couple of... Uh, Minis trying to squeeze past the Mustang in the dying stage yesterday. It must have been uh, a great race for you to be calling, Johnny. Oh, it was fun. Fun as heck. And, uh, yeah, you can see all the action. George doing the business, getting him amongst it. Good work, George. Oh, look, just checking wow. a few things on the phone there. That's some data, some telemetry via iPhone. I think it was just uh, updating the Instagram stories, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I think so, yeah. Well, they might be dialing in the car. You know, they can do that with a Mini. They, they've got a special app. Now, uh, big shout out to our all female team. Ah, uh, yes. A member of the Racine family, Julie Racine, maybe handing over to Anita Wimas uh, in the green car there that is 969. They have just come into the pit. Um, and a yeah. shout out to young Penelope, who will be engineering and yeah. making sure that all is appropriate and timed well. She's doing a great job in her green overalls, uh, matching with the car. Love to see. 
Yeah, and seven-year-old crew chief. But look, there's definitely some data and telemetry being shown by our iPhone here, chaps. Car 62. So what do you mean you left the garage open? <laughs> <laughs> the ring, says on my app. Yeah, the ring doorbell has spotted that the Amazon guys left a package on the, on the doorstep. Probably some mini spares. Awesome. Now, here is our leader. Now, um, I wonder we'll if we're going to see down the pit lane our all-female team, the green mini. Here it is, 969. Here we are. Trying to get, right. Are they trying to get a passenger in there? Oh, no, she's got a helmet on. She's trying to strap the other lady in. But the other interesting thing, folks, is our 111 car, which was Mike and Ethan in that Mustang. They were in the lead, but that pit stop's been ages. They don't have to sit in the pits for a, a period of time, do they, Johnny? Yep, they do. It's all timed. It have to, that's why you're seeing quite leisurely pit stop. It's, not, it's not a race that, at that point, which makes it really kind of oh, really excruciating to be sat there because yeah. you, th that's what the phone is actually doing is that they've got a clock on the phone is. they've got the timer and they're going all right you got one minute and 30 seconds hang tight uh, but it's frustrating as it all hell but uh, there you go so what's that so in the meantime then our man Seth is in the Mustang number 80 in the Gulf livery he's just staying out on track just trying to get down the road a bit further is he before he's but he still in. when he comes in he's he still to has in. to do the pit stop right and i.e. the time yeah. pit stop. So yeah. what he's trying to do now is lay down some heavy rubber and get down as many laps and get that gap, 22 seconds at the moment. He's going to try and get it up to about 30 seconds before he comes in. Clever. Clever. Now, if he hits traffic, he'll probably zoom straight in. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's is, strategy at its finest. This is not just a novelty. Not messing about here. the day thing, is it, Johnny? Come not on. at all. Absolutely not. They saved the best to last. Adam did not expect to be sitting in the commentary booth here at the end of Velocity <laughs> after a lovely week uh, where he's done some Trans Am, he's seen the best of the new cars of the, of the day, a bit of SVRA. Absolutely. He then drove across America. Come on, you haven't re regaled I us. Did. Regaled I did. What did you learn about Americana? Oh, what didn't I learn? I mean, I've been to diners. Oh, I've been to yes. honky tonks. Ooh. Um, I've been in the back of Ubers. Where did you stay? Uh, a lot of... Interesting motels. I'll bet. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Out there in the desert, you don't know. A good-looking fellow with you with a beard off. You never know what trouble you could get into out that's there in the, the desert. That's the life of the traveling motors, uh, motorsport it. journalist, isn't it? The automotive <laughs> journalist. But I tell you what, a fantastic cars, some amazing oh, things on the road. I love you, you could write, literally, you could do a vodcast of what you see on American roads. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, it also just... It's not even all the, you know, the muscle cars. That's, they're not everywhere, you know, no. when you're traveling. But it's all the, the weird things that we don't get. You right. Know, things like your Hyundai, yeah. what is it? Hyundai Venue. Venue, yeah. Never heard of it. Yep. But <laughs> we saw the uh, vacation car, the uh, National Lampoon's vacation yeah, exactly. uh, Chevy Chase car yeah. as yeah. we came in to the A big venue. big wood panel. Yeah. Car. Fantastic. Family wagon. Cracking Fantastic. car. And the huge pickup trucks, of course. Yes. Yeah. I love those. By the way, I, I saw love those. that is... The the, the car we parked next to this morning, um, we we saw it's a GMC Ferrari. Yes. I got a picture of it, which I'm going to show you, Adam. And I might actually, I'll, you'll have to put this out on the Auto Monday Al social because it it it, it, it beggars belief. <laughs> but that is Intrepid Racing's Ferrari. That's fantastic. And look at the logo. Oh, brilliant! So brilliant. they've done well there. And Intrepid, I told them because they were in here doing what's going on. Well, I'm just thinking, I'm just looking at this. I think we've got pictures of uh, Jeff O'Neill being put into the seat and ah. going out right now. Uh, looking at this one. Andrew Fox and Jay O'Neill, the names on the door plate there. So English Jeffrey O'Neill has driven a, if I've got this right, he's driven a GTO Ferrari. He has, he's driven a GTO. He's driven a historic Trans Am. Yes, and he was also in Group 9 in the IMSA. big IMSA. Yeah, 2006, 2006, 2016, big IMSA Le Mans or yep. LMS car. And now he's in a Mini. He saved the best to last. He certainly yeah. has. He has. He has. It's all been building up to this. And if you're interested, they'll be auctioning it off at Pebble Beach with a starting <laughs> price of $90 million <laughs> next year. Oh, dear. Bonnet up on the 61 car. That's Paul third Hutch, place. That it? is not a good sight. That's not. That's not. That is the engine. They found it. <laughs> uh, but that is not good because this is not part of the plan. Oliver and Gear Ram. I said the doors, not the bloody Ramlet. bonnet. <laughs> so we've got problems with oh, our. With no, our no. no. Terminal. We've just had the international sign for it's done, mate. It's gone, it's gone sideways, son. You feel for him. 
you feel for him. 61 car is probably going to be out. The self-preservation society yeah. is hardly preserved at this point, and we are in trouble, folks. And sadly, uh, a moment in the commentary box to perhaps wonder what could have been, because that was our, our top hope. Well, all our hopes now rest on this car, the 177. The Racine car with its Monte Carlo tribute lot livery. Yes, and it's uh, absolutely fantastic. If I were a betting man, I would say that they could they could they could pull it off the gap. 28 seconds. Uh, it's not over by any means because remember, Birgit, he's on his own, is yet to come in. He's yet to come in. He's still got to come in. You would expect once he comes in and this uh, on-screen graphic sorts itself out, the timing sorts itself out, that our man uh, Mike Bacchiosho um, and Ethan Wilson will leapfrog up a little bit, but we'll see what happens. But of course, Racine hasn't come in either. That's what I was just wondering. I didn't think we'd seen the 177 car. No, coming. we haven't. No. They haven't come in. So we've, we've got a cracking race on here. Now, Ramleth and Ramleth. Uh, that's Oliver Ramleth and Gare Ramleth. Uh, very good drivers both. Uh, currently in fifth place, so watch out for them. Uh, Fox and O'Neill, as we've mentioned already, they're in the pits and about to head out again. We've got on the board 19 minutes and 41 seconds as we take another look at the Golf livery, number 80, Ford, she well, 1967 Shelby GT500. Beautiful sand, too. Whoop. Oh, there's our man Seth. He's got to be careful on that loud pedal. Oh, look at the LEDs behind him, though. That's got to be intimidating. Look at that. Oh, uh, you'll see him in a minute when he comes across the line. But the mini behind him is, is resplendent. Fully lit up. Yeah. Seth is just getting the hammer down, isn't he? I wonder how far down the road he can get. Adam, have you done a lap of the track yet? Because you can't leave without that. <laughs> I've, I've done parts of it in a golf cart, Johnny. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Which is pretty much, you know, sort of same pace as the back of the mini. <laughs> the mini moke <laughs> version. Ah, now here comes the number six. Uh, he's further down the order. Oh, no, excuse me. That's Matt Johnson from third place coming in. So Johnson, uh, Johnson and Johnson. But I think Matt's on his own, isn't he? Yeah. It's Shelby 350, GT 350. Nice livery on that. Way down to the far end of the pit lane as we sit here on our... And we've got uh, another position. towed car being towed out of the way. The minis are falling by the wayside, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset with what's happening. We've got another one being towed away. Unless this is the stewards interrupting the... Uh, the race just because they're not happy. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> now, who's this coming in? There's somebody else, one of the red minis is coming in, but I don't think it's our leader or our contender, put it that way. Now, here comes, ah. Now this is Racine, isn't it? With the leader coming up on him. No, Racine is the 177. Uh, that's, that's yep, yep, I've I got that completely is, wrong. There's too many orange cars. This will be 62, it can Future's be bright, 62. Future's orange, bloody hell. So this is one of those pure racing minis. This is, uh, I think, Andrew Waite and Martin Lauber, I think. Yeah, 62, Andrew Waite, Martin Lauber at this point yeah. in time. Well, Martin's had I a big weekend. I think 177, Johnny, I think he did sneak past us in our commentary position, because I think I've only seen the one uh, mini with the white roof. That's what just went past. There's me LEDs coming down the back straight. I love that. that. That's cracking. You know, when you actually do get them stopped and get a, a proper look at these cars, they are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful and beautifully prepared as well. You know, not a, not a the number six car we're looking at there then in the pits, your third place man. Uh, Matt Johnson, yeah. And he's Johnson. so here's what I was talking about. He he's on his own, so he's just sat there. Ah uh, yeah, okay. And he's <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up. He's on, looking Matt. at George. How long has he got to sit there? What's the pit stop I, on this? You know, one? I think it's five minutes. Ah, okay. So which must be agonizing when it really only takes a couple of minutes to, you know, do a quick changeover. Now, this is the one we're watching. LBL, 60. Right, so you were correct. I apologize, Johnny. It's a different red mini with a white roof. Yeah. Sitting in pit. Mm -hmm. 177 is still out. Yeah. So we are still going on this one. The gap, 31 60. seconds now. OK, interesting. 16 minutes to go. Um, and Seth is still putting in best lap times. He's still turning sectors purple. No change in the fastest lap. Uh, now, we've got the 22 coming. Oh, no, 22 is now in the pits. That's one of the Mustangs. 1965 GT350. Yep. 
Uh, Ryan Ferrin, Ken Adams? Yep, that's right. So Ken Adams should be stepping in now. Ken Adams is a very good driver. And uh, he's had a big weekend as well. Just keeping an eye on the pit. You can see on the right-hand side all these times here. And I, I guess that's their in and, in and, in, in and out times entirely, right? On your on-screen telemetry that you can see. Yeah. 177, and there we are. Got the Monte Carlo sticker on the back. Don and Dennis Racine currently sitting in second place at the moment. But they've yet to pit, is that right? Yeah, that's what we think. Yeah. Now, who else could come into play? Lab and Andrew Waite, six at the moment. They're circulating well. They're in the 208, so they're a little bit slower than the leaders on 203s. So, uh... Matt Johnson, obviously with the pit stop. Oh, here he, he is. Ah, here, he is here comes the leader. And so too does the Mini. They come in together. It's all action now. Mustang versus Mini. Mini and David and Goliath are in together. Yep. Our man Seth Burgett, who went off a while ago and has put a stint in ever since, trying to get himself off and away down the road, leading the race. Comes in for his mandatory pit stop. Oh, talk about a bit of wheel spin. Out goes one of the Mustangs. Lit up the tyres, just filling the pit lane with tyres. Here he comes. As so the 177 is now in. All eyes focused. We've lost Matt. I think he fell asleep. I think we lost uh, Adam. He's fallen asleep as well. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think the amount of minis that are dropping out... Yeah, it's not good, is, is it? It's not doing much to dispel the myths of British car reliability, is it? Ah, uh, Leyland, bless them. <laughs> they are being thrashed in an endurance race, that's for Lucas sure. Lucas Parts, that was it. Yeah. Have you got any Lucas Parts on it? Oh, well, that's your problem, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off comes the wheel. So, let's just have a look at who's getting out here. I think... Ah, the, the magic cushion. Look at that. One cushion, two cushions. It's a coup, it's a t it's a coup, two cushion stint here now. So that's Don Racine getting in. So uh, Dennis must have been running it for the first lap. Don Racine. Oh, they getting swapped in them from right yesterday. Now. Yeah. Uh, he's he's got extra extra weight there on that second cushion. That's at least uh, it could be as close to a I don't know maybe a kilo. Uh, depends what he's got in it. Maybe <laughs> maybe. One of the other Mustangs comes into pit. But so this is, we think that this is our effective leader now because he's I just gone past. Is. So that, that makes total sense now because we're now starting to get through the pit stops and everybody's kind of shuffling through. And he's just gone past the number six, which is Johnson. Uh, so we think now that that 1-1-1 one, one, one of Mike Biacchio and now it'll be Ethan Wilson at the wheel is leading the way. Yeah, I think what will happen in a moment or two once the timing screen graphic sorts itself out after these people are coming in and out of the pits or the people who are in the pits head on back out and start doing the lap we'll see this car Ethan Wilson start to move up the order a little bit there was our man who was leading Seth Berger yep just, now uh, as you waiting. see the man with the cowboy hat is uh, coming him off the ledge because he's got to sit there impatiently <laughs> while the clock ticks down and he's got he's I saw him yesterday he just holds the phone at him and says don't worry don't worry we're, we're waiting now see look here we go we're now seeing yep. there we go look Ethan Wilson, Mike Bacchiaccio, and Ethan Wilson leapfrog up to third. And this is agonizingly yeah. tough when you sat there. So we think that's what? Dennis? No, I think that's Don. I think that's Don Racine. That's, that's, that's the main man. I that's see. The main man. It makes sense. Yeah. Last, last uh, leg to the big man. Yeah, yeah. It's a pain in the ass getting those bloody fuel things on. There's always a stick. Get them halfway out. Yeah. Damp morning with a with a with a <sighs> soft cold hand, hands, cold yeah. hand. So, a hand. So a string back leather driving gloves is what you need, Johnny. <laughs> That's what I need. They're not just for style. Yeah, but I don't get down to the merchandise shop like you. <laughs> nice hat you're wearing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. A little bit of banter in the booth, can't beat it. But you see, the thing is, you don't have one of these. I don't have one of them. Look at, oh, that. look at that! Ooh. As given by a real McLaren person. That's a Amanda Kiwi. Amanda McLaren gave me this. Wow. Get that. How about that? That's pretty good. 
pretty can't good. beat that. That's a, that's a weekend's worth of worth of work. <laughs> that 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 was fun. Now here's our leader. Oh, and he is all sorts of every which way and loose. Look at him go. Oh, who says you can't drift a Mustang? Great stuff. It does look fantastic, doesn't it? I have to be honest. I would love to have a go in one of these Mustangs. Absolutely. It must be a thrill and a half, and they sound so good. You must have driven a Mini or two in your time, though, Johnny. Hmm? Have you ever driven a Mini? I have. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I love the Mini. And, in fact, I've now got my... I live in Texas, so, you know, everything is big. So I want to go absolutely small. And I want to get a Mini to drive around in Texas so I can park it anywhere. I can get on the freeway and scare the bejeebas out of all these <laughs> huge trucks when I come by. <laughs> Uh, and I also want to get a right-hand drive. Now, here we go. This is for the lead. Here we go. This is it. Here comes yes. the leader. Look at this. And the number 80 is now going to be in second place. So it's a battle on between the Mustangs. Right. So Seth did everything he Look, could do to get down the road. That's your race he? right there, There's folks. That's your race. Yep, yep, yep. This is going to be exciting in the closing stages. Those two. And here's your here lead comes. mini. That's your lead mini. mini. And trouble, I, trouble is he's lacking any ability to really catch up because the lap times now will surely with the Mustangs. Absolutely. I don't I think Don Racine is going to look at fourth for this one. The first mini home, but fourth overall. Been an exciting time though. It's been a good race. Remember Mini got first blood yesterday. They won the race. And uh, now it's a case of which of the Mustangs is going to come through. I'm sure Taylor's down in the pits ready to talk to the next driver out there. Oh no no she's here. <laughs> now, oh, just dropped a wheel then, but he's okay. Uh, it's Ethan Wilson at the wheel of this Mustang. That, oh, he is pushing it, and now that's on the on the dry dirt or the uh, where the oil was down. Well, listen, Johnny, I've just noticed uh, Taylor, who's been running around in the pit and paddock with me, uh, has appeared. So sadly, I think, Adam, you're going to have to leave us. But before you go, have to go and you, do some you, work. Adam Smith from Auto Monday. Yes. Radio Carfish on Instagram. <laughs> before you go, what's been your highlight of the weekend? Pal? Yeah. Because you've had a great weekend. But I have had a wonderful... Give us a highlight or a couple of highlights. Do you know Besides what? Besides working with Taylor. Oh, of course, of course. Um, do you know what? This race has to be up there for there me. There you go. It has to Good be. Man. I mean, you know, these two iconic cars... Couldn't be more different yeah, going head to head. Right. It's, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It's exactly what it's all about. We'll let you fiddle off and do whatever you've got to do. Uh, but we're going to take this home now because it's Mustang versus Mustang. It's muscle car time, folks. It is. It had to happen. Thanks, Adam. Thanks very much. Been a pleasure. No, no problem. Enjoyed it. Brilliant. Great stuff from Adam Smith there of Auto Mundial. The gap is what? Two seconds? That's all two second gap in the closing stage of this one seven minutes 50 seconds to go seth burgett still with the fastest lap time of the day now we've been talking minis but talking of small and perfectly formed <laughs> here she is <laughs> i thought you were going to say american muscle here she is oh, that too. oh yes <laughs> i hadn't thought both. the combo of the both combo thank you actually, Dallas, so much. Here <laughs> that's she is. absolutely right how's your day it's been excellent by the way hell of a grid walk you got yes. the whole lot <laughs> You did everyone I got, on this I, I race. I almost, right? Yeah. I got all the way down to the end. Towards the end, they were like, I just want to finish. I just want to finish. How cool is Penelope out there in her green? Oh, what a doll. <laughs> what a doll. I, and that whole female team. Yeah. Love that. Great I, stuff. I picked the right team. I said, let me let me throw down this microphone. We'll swap. Whoa! Give me the helmet. Boy, he is laying down some rubber. He's going to run out if he's not careful. He's got completely sideways there. Well, that's... Mike and Ethan, obviously, Mike won it last year, Johnny, when I was with you. How did he get on last night? Do you remember how... Uh, how they were in the lead night? for a while, but yeah. they made a mistake or something went wrong, but um, that's how what led to the minis. Uh, and I think traffic was an issue, and he's yeah. about to come across some now. Interesting, interesting. Because Mike's going to come back, you know, and retain his crown from last year, that's for sure. Look, Here's some traffic. Look at this. Yeah, minis getting side by side, you see. They won't let him through now. Watch this. <laughs> no, they, they're racing. But in this particular part of the circuit, that they struggle to get past the minis, that's for sure. Look, now the muscle comes into play. Now he should have at least one of them by the time he gets to turn 11. Yeah, there's nothing, sadly, the minis can do at this point. No, not really. In fact, flip. he's got both. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, Nicely yeah. done. Quite safely and rightly, the mini just uh, drifts over to the left, lets him come by up the inside there. 
And I'll tell you what, the way the Mustangs are struggling at the moment uh, with just grip after what has been a long hour race. They've been pushing it to the max and they're running out of grip uh, on the rear end. And that's why they're sliding, but you can see there, two golf livery cars <laughs> side by side. Very different though. <laughs> So Taylor, five minutes, 40 seconds to go on this one. We come to the end of another Velocity Invitational. What have been your highlights this year, do you think? Oh gosh, there's, we have done so much. I know, it feels like it's uh, all melded into I one. I feel like we've been here for a week. Yeah, there was yeah, so much to like. see, so many events. Goodness, to pick one. I, I'm struggling to pick one. I know you had a great chat Whoa. with um, Tony Fidel, TK, Dana McLaren. Is somebody, is that not our man Seth gone off again, is it? No. <laughs> No, no it's the, the 111. The 111. Mike and Ethan. Oh, no. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> you had a, I know you had a good chat with Tony Canaan, TK. Yes. Oh, that was McLaren. lovely. Yeah, that was nice. Yes, I did. Yeah, that was that was an exceptional chat just to hear his emotions. You, you always Passionate. see, yeah, when you're talking to drivers, normally yeah. at a race event, it's it's thanks to the sponsors, the car is really great, yeah. this and that. And so to, to get a little bit, uh, a different Personal. approach, a personable yeah. approach, exactly, it's it's really exciting, actually. Yeah. And you saw firsthand the devotion of Formula One fans as oh. uh, people queued up all day just to get Lando's autograph. You know, we couldn't Amazing. even get around. You know, we were, we were trying to just get out of here, and they're on the fencing. And yeah. you can just, excuse me, can I get by? But they're, they're did they ready. Did they have a session today? Did they have an autograph session? They absolutely did, yes. Yes, it was quite the line, or the queue, as I should say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Good work. Nicely done. So Seth Burgett's just done the fast. Well, no, he, he did the fastest lap. That was early on in the race, so that's not changed. But uh, they're running. Well, the leader, uh, Ethan Wilson, is running uh, 2 0, 0 at the moment in the car you're looking at now. Uh, the 111 Mustang. And uh, he's on his way to victory. The gap, though, is only two seconds to the second place golf livery, Seth Burgett, on his own. gone up to three seconds now in these last four minutes can he reel him in just a little bit the leading mini is in fourth position and that is Don Rossi there he is somewhat fitting that the steward of all of these minis uh, is leading the way leading them home yeah lights ablaze as he goes through that chicane there just nipping the apex right then left super stuff uh, Don well done sir Clock ticking down, though, and the sun has gone. Goes quick here, doesn't it? It just dips down, and then it's gone. That's as the temperature. It's going to be chilly when we step outside, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. It's been California sunshine all day. We've been basking in it, but it's going to be chilly. Look at the neon lights, the little uh, LEDs there on, around the 177. Yeah, I, I keep saying, and yeah. we, we thought they were for the, the, the... Well, they probably are, actually. We, we had a debate about this, but we thought, oh, OK, it's for the, pit, it's for the pits. And... And yet they're on the other side. So maybe most of the circuits are anti-clockwise rather than clockwise. And therefore you can light up for endurance races. It would make sense. Sounds Just like they do in IMSA. Sounds plausible for me. <laughs> Taylor's looking very like, uh, I don't know about that. When you said anti-clockwise, that was... <laughs> <laughs> That just sounds like a load of people who don't like which direction the clock goes. They're anti-clockwise, <laughs> aren't they? Anti They're anti-clockwise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does Sorry. It, yeah, exactly. Sorry. Have the clock's gone back again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not again. No, I can't deal with it. That. Now, second place is making a move in the dying seconds of this race. A little come bit on, of traffic. Could, there he is. Look. Yeah. A little bit of traffic could make the difference now as they come into the turn 11 hairpin yet again. Now, we'll see the gap as they cross the line. It was three seconds. We've got two minutes on the clock, which means we should be getting the white flag fairly oh, soon. There and there it is. The white flag is out now. Let's watch the gap as they cross the line. The gap is now 2.8 seconds. We've got a race on, folks. He's taken it down, only a couple of tenths, but now it's the last lap and he's got to go hell bent for leather. Channel his inner Steve McQueen uh, around the streets of San Francisco. Yeah. Was the movie Fast? What was it called? Ah, uh, be Bullet. Presumably. Bullet. Bullet. Yeah, well, it was Fast. It, it was yeah. Bullet. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great scene. Tremendous Love that. Tremendous film. And you can actually get yourself a Ford Mustang Bullet Edition as well. Can you they, really? They do in in the modern day Mustang. Launched about probably 2015, I think it was. Um, super looking Mustang. Now, day. now come on, Kev. You do some work for Ford in England. Can't you do? Can't you do a <laughs> special piece on a Ford Bullet around the streets of Samsung, or even this race alone? 
It should happen. It, it should, should happen. It should happen. It should happen. It should happen. We will make it happen. <laughs> we, yeah, I, I'm I'll talk to the head of Auto Mondial, who could make that <laughs> yes, happen. He could. We know him. If only we knew the head of Auto no, Mondial. No, that's it. That's the great Adam Smith. There he is. Final lap then of the final race. Group that's 10 on what has been a fantastic weekend. He's done it again. 12 months since the uh, last one, the Mini versus Mustangs. Mike Bacchiaccio and Ethan Wilson at the wheel. The second stint is going to do it. Got a bit of traffic, though. Got a bit of traffic. Give the fans some excitement in the dying stages. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, look at how the brakes are lighting up, too. That's a problem. Oh, he's caught oh. right up to oh, him. Oh, hang on. We've got one or two corners to go. It's all about turn 11 here in the final hurrah here at Velocity Invitational. There's two minis in the way, and there's two Mustangs on their way. What a finish to this this is going to be. If Seth Burgett can do something here, he's right on his tailpipe, lights, lights blazing. It's now or never, guys. They're coming to the minis. They're in the way, but they're going to try and drift Ooh, through. To the line they come. It's going to be a race to the flag, and it is a photo finish. Oh, wow. 0.135. Oh, That's boy. the gap between them. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, boy, that was great. Seth, his heart rate right oh, now in that number yeah. 80 Mustang. Brilliant stuff. An American muscle gets its pride back here at Sonoma in 2023. They were beaten by the minis last night, but American muscle car restored. And Taylor Sweet is... redemption. There you go. <laughs> is sighing with relief. Can't have a full weekend being beaten by the Europeans. Surely not. All four of those drivers involved in that race to the line there, or that kind of like oh, that's great. final corner and that final bit of the straight, that's worth the admission price alone. <laughs> exactly. Guys. They're loving that. They're loving that. Now, the top mini coming across the line fairly soon will yeah. be Don Racine in that 1961 Austin Mini Cooper S. Matt Johnson does take third, so it's a sweep, a clean sweep. Now, they get the brush out here on the podium <laughs> in America. Yeah. I love that. Uh, because... Uh, that's what you call a clean sweep because they've got all three on the podium. But the first mini coming across the line, here he comes. Uh, let's give him a, a very polite British <laughs> applause, as we do here. And then we'll stand in line because that's what we like to do. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's been fun. That's been a lot of fun. But it was competitive. Boy, God. <laughs> Point 0.135. I mean, you know, you certainly don't get Formula One races finishing that close. That's great. I love it.